Hello, everybody. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Katie. Today, I'll be presenting Beyond the Basics, a comprehensive look at CalFresh and food access on UCI's campus. According to a recent federal study, 22.6% of students face low or very low food, insecure, food security. At the University of California, Irvine, UCI, the narrative is definitely no different. In fact, the numbers are much higher. Student security is a prevalent issue throughout the United States, with the COVID-19 pandemic solely exacerbating the challenges, especially amongst college students. Hunger affects students in a variety of ways, from mental health implications to physical health challenges to social burdens. Students are affected holistically. Thus, alleviators put forth should also keep in mind all being on basic needs. At UCI, the UCI Basic Needs Center provides an oasis for students whose basic needs are not being met. The absence of students' basic needs results in threats to their overall well-being, such as poor health and mental health, which in turn cause, causes lower academic outcomes. Since state and federal supports have not risen alongside the skyrocketing costs of living, many students do not have the means to meet their basic needs, forced to take additional jobs, skip meals, and reduce their academic focus. These students will remain, vul remain vulnerable without support. Luckily, UCI students at the UCI Basic Needs Center to support them. How can I support you is a phrase you'll hear whenever you step into the center. Eager to help fellow student advocates and pro staff are trained to guide students who seek it. At other institutions, student resources are not housed under one center. They're scattered throughout campus, making it difficult to seek support when needed, especially in times of crisis. The Basic Needs Center houses a variety of programs that aid students hoping to meet their basic needs, from CalFresh application assistance to the Fresh Pantry to economic crisis response grants. The Basic Needs Center provides a wide variety of services for students and their dependents. The UC Undergraduate Experience Survey is a survey sent out to students within the University of California system every even numbered year. The survey contains an assortment of questions curated to collect information about the undergraduate student experience. Among undergraduate students, 42% face some sort of food insecurity. American Indian and Hispanic slash Latinx students are least likely to be food secure, possessing rates of 44% and 49% respectively. Students who identify as domestic unknown, international, and white students are most likely to be food secure at rates of 69%, 65%, and 64% respectively. The UC Graduate Student Experience Survey is administered to, to graduate students within the UC system during odd years. The survey contains questions on less topics than those of the UC UES. Nevertheless, the input of these students is valuable and necessary for for the UC. Among graduate students, 23% face some sort of food insecurity. African American and Hispanic Latino students are least likely to be food in, are most likely to be food insecure at 40% and 34% 34% respectively. White graduate students are 22% less likely to be food insecure than African American students. CalFresh, known as SNAP in other states, is a federally funded food assistance program. Aside from meeting the basic eligibilities, college students must also possess a student eligibility. Although students can apply on their own, the application has a multitude of intricacies that, when overlooked, can cause a wrongful denial. Basic needs advocates are student staff trained to provide CalFresh support. Their duties range from hosting class pitches to helping students apply to CalFresh. These student advocates are equipped to serve a variety of cases in a confidential and caring manner, which provides comfort to students in a variety of situations. Students seeking aid schedule appointments for application assistance, re, um, application assistance, recertification assistance, and to get questions answered and for our overall general case support. In fall of 2023, a total of 364 applications were submitted with the Basic Needs Center support. This is 23 more applications than were submitted in fall of 2022. 235 students took appointments to ask questions and or receive case support. This is a sharp increase from only 61 students seeking that support in fall of 2022. The skyrocketing increase can be credited to various factors such as an improved social media presence, the introduction of walk-in application assistance, in addition to word of mouth as many students mentioned, a friend has used our services. 
To reach a broader population, the CalFresh team participates in extensive research, uh, outreach events, programs, and efforts throughout campus to spread awareness and knowledge on this program. Some examples of outreach strategies include class pitches and group application days. Uh, all the current strategies have proven themselves beneficial when spreading information about CalFresh. Throughout my time with the team, I noticed straight to the point, attention grabbing strategies are key in marketing outreach events. The presence of signage that clearly states things such as free croissants or free coffee draws students to our table and encourages them to ask who we are and what we do. The same goes for the promotion of services and events. Signage is key in ensuring that attention is brought, attention is brought to the services offered. Out of all the events that have occurred since the beginning of the school year, the Ant Eater Involvement Fair, CalFresh and Cold Brew, CalFresh and Croissants, and an unknown event on October 3rd were the events that had the most pre-screens uh, gathered. CalFresh Pre-Screen is a forum on campus groups which asks students a series of questions to determine whether or not they may be potentially eligible for CalFresh benefits. In terms of marketing, straight to the point engaging Instagram Reels are key in increasing CalFresh visibility on social media. The use of trending sounds, templates, and engaging graphics within the video have the ability to ensure it will be shared, watched, and absorbed by the viewer. When brainstorming each of the videos I created, I ensured the topic was well, useful and easily comprehensible. In terms of recommendations, here is a short list of the recommendations, um, such as pre-screening when using the Fresh Pantry, a Refer a Friend Reward Program, the continuation of CalFresh Reels and the continuation of CalFresh and food events on Ring Road. In terms of going beyond, the UCI Basic Needs Center not only focuses on providing students with means to meet their basic needs, they go beyond to ensure students are adequately set up for success in all aspects of their holistic well being. From providing a weekly pantry visit to diapers for parenting students to simply having somebody to walk beside when walking to the Student Counseling Center, the Basic Needs Center is readily available to help aid students of all types in all situations. All team members carry such a welcoming and compassionate demeanor that is felt when stepping into the building. The warmth of those in the center encourages students to ask for help when needed and ensures them they are not alone even during the most trying times. The continuity of this work and continued outreach is essential in ensuring student well-being. I would like to say thank you to Sandra Guyut, uh, Andrea Mora, and the rest of the Basic Needs Center, as well as Tony Jackson for this wonderful opportunity. Now I'm open to taking any questions. Hi, Denise. Thank you so much for your presentation. I really enjoyed learning more about CalFresh and specifically what impact that you made on UCI's campus. Um, Oh, my first question I have is from John. What was the creative process like for you when creating CalFresh social, me social media outreach materials? Yeah, so in terms of creating social media outreach materials, I did a lot of little research on TikTok. So I was looking at, of course, like the most trending sounds, the most trending um the most trending trends in terms of like maybe templates on CapCut that are the most popular right now are on TikTok. And um, I ensure to, I made sure to make videos that were very informative yet straight to the point. So all my videos were very quick. Uh, I was talking very fast in all of them, um, but of course made sure to have captions. And um, the all the music in the background was of course music that was that was also trending and um i definitely it took a lot of time to create these videos just because editing even though it's just a short video does take a long time so um i did not get the chance to maybe make as many as i wanted to but the, the ones that i did make are definitely of high quality and um, have definitely garnered garnered a lot of support on social media I love that. And that is such a creative and tough process that takes a while. Um, our next question is from the Congressional Hunger Center. What is something that the audience today can do to make a difference? I think that in order to make a, um, the audience can definitely do as little, um, do something as little as going to a um, social media page and literally just sharing some informative graphics about CalFresh, um, normalizing the presence of information about CalFresh in like mainstream media outlets and like on all of our social media is key in ensuring that more students are able to, um, are willing and able to apply to CalFresh just because there is a lot of negative stigma surrounding CalFresh. Um, as I 
mentioned in my report, there are a lot of there are a lot of students who are eligible, but unfortunately do not apply due to the negative stigma surrounding CalFresh. I personally um, was uh, uh, benefited from CalFresh when I was in college, and honestly, the free extra um, almost three hundred dollars that you get every month is such a benefit, and nobody can tell me otherwise. <laughs> so just um, ensuring that everybody um, ensuring that you're telling others, um, telling others, tell, even if you just tell one person, that one person can go tell somebody else that, you know, they might be eligible to check out this program. True. Thank you. And thank you for speaking to the importance of outreach. I think that's so important. Um, how do you imagine that this project will inform your work at your upcoming policy placement? Yeah, so at my upcoming policy placement, I'll be placed at Broad for the World Institute, where I'll be in charge of creating a tool to ensure um, government accountability in terms of promises that were made at a previous conference. And so in order to do this, I think that um, a lot, I will benefit a lot by um, knowing what the needs were at, um, at the university level for students. Um, so like knowing that all the, knowing what the needs were, I'll be able to better create a tool that isn't that is sure to um, really tackle all of those um, all of those issues and um, that I saw when I um, was at the basic needs center.